This is Lesson 7 of 20 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. This lesson demonstrates how to create a database using a tool called PHP MyAdmin. This lesson is only applicable if your web host does not provide a control panel with a database function. If your web hosting account comes with a control panel such as cPanel, Plesk or something else, it probably includes a database creation function and you should use that tool instead of the one demonstrated in this lesson. If your control panel includes both the database creation function and phpMyAdmin, you should still use the database creation feature. So if all you've got is the phpMyAdmin feature, this lesson is for you. Start by logging into phpMyAdmin using the details provided by your host. The first step is to create a new database. Click the Databases tab towards the top. Then enter a database name in the Create New Database box. I'll choose the name Video Demo. Then click the Create button. Now you need to create a user for the database. The left column displays all databases in your account. Click the database name that was created in the previous step. Click Privileges at the top and add a new user. On this page, enter a username. I'll use Runner. You can leave the host option set to any host, then decide on a password and enter it here. And enter it again here. Ensure that grant all privileges on database and then your database name is selected. Scroll down and click the Go button. That's all there is to creating a database using phpMyAdmin. Make sure you make a note of the database name, username and username password. The next video discusses a different database setup, so skip ahead to Lesson 9 where I show you how to get your installation of Joomla working.